Last one. Um, so they say, is this a reduction or an enlargement from A to B? Well, obviously, you guys can see A is really big. B is nice and small, right? So obviously, we can say that is a reduction. But now they're asking us to find the scale factor. So again, to find the scale factor, all we're simply going to do is going from A to B is determine you know, what exactly has happened. So I'm just going to find the length of B, which I can see from this case is going to be 1, 2, 3. It looks like 3 and a half. And then I go over to A, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the scale factor from A to B is going to be 3.5 over 7. And then does 3.5 divide into 7? Can we reduce that? Yeah, we can actually reduce this to 1 half. Oh, wow, Mr. McClellan, that was cool. And does that make sense, though? Is A to B, does that look like it's like 1 half? Do all the lengths look like they're 1 half? They already told you it's similar, but does that look like it's 1 half? Yeah. Yeah.